Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Assetto Corsa mod manager that I created um, in a couple days. So it's really easy to use and the point of it is to make it very easy to put mods into Assetto Corsa and not have to worry about your game breaking if you put a bad mod in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the description of this video and I'll have two links. One will be the GitHub repository so you can download the code yourself and compile it so you don't have to worry about like worrying about if there might be a virus there definitely isn't but I am giving you the option so the other link will be a link directly to the zip file so if you clicked on the github repository you can go and download the zip just by clicking on this acmm.zip and then clicking on raw and that'll download the zip file. So I'm going to open that zip file and you'll notice that there's a folder in here and you're just going to want to extract that anywhere. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to do it to my desktop. So you can open up this and there are three things. There's the mods folder, the executable, and a save file. So don't touch the save file. Um, there are some exceptions which you can read in the GitHub repository, but um, you could usually just leave that alone. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go into the mods folder, and there are two other subfolders. There's the cars and tracks. So we're going to put some cars into this cars folder. So I have the TI uh, mod, and I'm just going to put a couple cars in so we could see that it works for multiple cars. Alright, so now that the cars have been placed in this cars fo folder, I'm going to go back to the mods folder and go to the tracks. And I'm going to put my favorite track, which is the Drift Playground. So you want to make sure that you go directly to the track folders. So you don't want to put the content in there. You want to go into the contents, tracks, and grab these and put them in. There we go. So now that we have our mods put in that we want, all we have to do is go back to the Assetto Corsa Mod Manager folder and click on Assetto Corsa Mod Manager. This is super annoying, but you can click More Info and run it anyway. In here, we could see that the cars are loaded and we can click on the Tracks tab and the tracks that we put into the mod folder are loaded. So by default, they're disabled. Um, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is click on choose. So we choose our main Assetto Corsa folder. Now this is where um, the Assetto Corsa EXE is. So it's usually under C, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Assetto Corsa. So once you get there, just click OK. And now everything's nice and done. So now what we can do is we could decide which um, mods we want. So we could just click on to check the mods that we want. So I want these two mods for right now. And then I only want the Drift Playground mod. So after I've selected both of those, I can click Enable Selected. And that's going to move these, the previously disabled, into the Enabled. So now we know what mods are enabled. So now we can actually go into Assetto Corsa, which I'll do right now. All right, here we are in Assetto Corsa, and we could see if this worked by pressing Select Car. And you see we have the Titan mod right here, and we have the two cars that we selected. So we can click it, and then let's say we want to select the track. We put in the dry but not the wet, so we'll just click that, and then we can start the game. All right, so we're back, and um, what we need to do is open up the Assetto Corsa Mod Manager just by double-clicking in it, clicking it, and you can see it saved our our settings. So it knows what mods we have enabled, and it knows the folder where our mod where our game is. So we can disable these mods just by clicking on them in the enabled 
section and let's say I just want everything back to normal so I just select all of those and I click disable selected so now everything is back into the disabled section so our game is back to normal and we don't have to worry about going in and doing it ourselves so the purpose of Assetto Corsa Mod Manager is really to make it easier for us to add mods in and to test mods without having to go back and like verify our cache to make sure things are working correctly. So anyway, I hope you guys found this um, useful. I hope you guys like the mod manager I made. If you have suggestions, please go to the Git repo and scroll down. You'll see a contribution section in the readme and that will tell you how to send submission or send suggestions to me or send bugs if you find bugs. You could also click on help and do report bug or suggestions. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the mod manager. I hope it makes your lives like a million times easier and goodbye.